Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego with my beautiful wife, Karina, from beautiful Venezuela. Karina has her green card in her hand. She got a green card June 25th, 2024. She had her K-1 visa interview at the U.S. Embassy in Bogota, Colombia on November 16th, 2023. You can do the math on how long it took from the K-1 visa interview to the green card in her hand. But let's talk about the CFO for the Philippine citizens. Our beautiful friends in the Philippines, what the heck is a CFO? Or oh, the Commission on Filipino Overseas, CFO, Guidance and Counseling Program, GCP. This is a mandatory program of the Philippine government, which is a process used to protect Filipinos and spouses of foreigners who wish to migrate to the United States, it's a way of preventing human trafficking, okay? The CFO is, it provides a mandatory pre-departure orientation seminar, or another acronym, PDOS, for immigrants ages from age 20 to 59 years of age. Now, the CFO was created on the 16th of June, 1980, through the Batas Pambasa Belang 79, whatever that is, and it is mandated to register all Filipinos leaving the country as immigrants, 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 or permanent residents abroad, which would be folks getting K-2 visas, K-1 visas, and spousal visas, right? Okay, all Filipinos leaving the Philippines and going abroad as fiancés, spouses, or family members, which would be under the K-2, or foreigners, okay, are required to attend this Commission on Filipinos Overseas Guidance and Counseling session. It's mandatory. After the CFO counseling, you will receive the Guidance and Counseling Certificate. You get a certificate. You, you get a, a, an award, okay, for completing this guidance. And the CFO sticker. You gotta have those. Those are two important things, okay? Once you get the, uh, the CFO, it's called an off-course digital certificate, you then present it to the Bureau of Immigration on the day of your departure from the Philippines headed to your new life in the United States of America. Now, like I said, this is a mandatory requirement of the Philippine government, not the United States government, okay? Our beautiful Filipino friends, you need to secure a CFO certificate before you leave the Philippines. For the united states with your k1 k2 and or spousal visa you got to show the k1 visa in your philippine passport before you can even register for the cfo guidance counseling program what documents do you need to register for the guidance program you got you got to get documents right well you got to have a clear copy of your valid filipino passport a clear copy of the k1 or k2 visa spousal visa a copy of the petitioner's U.S. citizen's biographic page of his or her passport, and the certificate and or report of marriage, the ROM, uh, from the Philippine Statistics Authority uh, if you got married in the Philippines, okay? Now, you may be required to provide additional documents also, such as proof of residency in the Philippines. Well, how can you prove you live in the Philippines? Well, you, have, you can show your name on an electric bill, uh, on, a, on your telephone bill, on your barangay certificate, etc., etc., etc. Other documents that you may need to provide, uh, the alien registration card or the ARC of your American citizen spouse who has been living in the Philippines with you for longer than 59 days, uh, proof of the relationship with your U.S. citizen sponsor, like pictures together, communication, WhatsApp chat logs, Yahoo Messenger chats, etc., uh, you may need a letter or a declaration of undertaking of travel, uh, written like an affidavit to include an itinerary of your travel plans to the United States. And you may need a, let's suppose in your U.S. citizen, American citizen sponsor isn't going to accompany you from the Philippines to the United States. You need a letter explaining why not. Okay. Why isn't your foreign partner going to travel with you from the Philippines to the United States and, and bring you through U.S. immigration? And you're going to need a police certificate from the Philippines, which shows you do not have a criminal record, Mr. or Miss Filipina. You're going to need your birth certificate and or your marriage certificate or a photocopy 
and or a photocopy of the biographic page of your sponsor's passport, American citizen. Uh, you may need an affidavit of invitation of support, financial support, safety, medical insurance, and all that. Your American citizen sponsor may need to write a letter saying that you are being sponsored. Basically the same thing as the I-134 for, for the embassy interview. And it needs to be notarized and authenticated by the Philippine embassy or consulate, which has jurisdiction over the destination of the host country. Uh, if you are a Filipino and you have a divorce decree, uh, you're going to need that. Though it's probably next to impossible to get a divorce in the Philippines, so more than likely you're going to have your annulment paperwork, okay, and or death certificate of your Filipino spouse, etc., to show you are a widow or a widower. So you got all the paperwork together, and you want to schedule your CFO appointment. You go online, basically, and do it. You reserve and register online to attend the guidance and counseling program in person. So you're going into a classroom uh, kind of like situation. Uh, I'm going to put up the contact information right here. This is the contact information to, to schedule your, uh, your, your counseling session, either in Manila, Philippines or in Cebu, Philippines. Thanks for watching the video, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We hope you enjoyed it. We're here to help you. I'm not an immigration attorney. I don't give you any legal advice. I'm, I don't work for the State Department, but I do have nine years experience in successfully helping good people like you from different countries around the world, including the Philippines, come to the United States, get your K-1 visas approved and get your green cards approved so you can get married and live happily ever after in the United States of America. Don't forget also, I do a live stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 6 p.m. If you want to jump on the live stream, I'll answer your questions for free there. So you can't beat it, right? See you at the live stream. I'll be back.